Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have a very fun video for you today. I will be sharing all of my favorite things that I got from LV 100% free. If you have been following me for some time, you probably know that I used to work for LV for a long, long time. And it was a long time ago, so unfortunately the perks and everything that employees get have declined pretty drastically. But if you haven't seen already, I did an entire video sharing the employee perks and benefits and swag and prizes that we used to get when I worked for LV very, very long ago. So check that video out if you haven't seen it already. But in today's video, I wanted to share with you my favorite things that I've received over the many years that I worked for LV. I recently moved and so I uncovered some things that I didn't show in that video and I will be sharing these items with you today. So I'll start off with our uniform. Now again, I worked for LV for many years and so over the years, our uniforms changed several times. And with each uniform change comes different accessories. And fortunately for me, when I left, I got to keep everything. <laughs> now, my understanding is that over the years, again, the perks have declined drastically. And so if you work for LV now and you leave, you pretty much have to turn everything in, but I got to keep everything. And so I'm gonna share some things with you. So the very first thing I got, and I still have it, and I think I have a couple of these, is the LV pin. It's not gold, but it's a gold plated pin. This was part of our uniform. We had to clip it onto our lapel of our blazer. And I still have mine and it's in great condition. It hasn't tarnished. And you know, if I wear pins, I could probably keep wearing this. <laughs> Maybe not on my clothes. I actually like pins. I keep some decorative pins on backpacks. I wouldn't wear this on a backpack. But yeah, this is really cute. Very distinct LV lapel pin. And this is something that the employees still currently use on their uniform. So I have, I have a couple of these over the years. So next up is this LV silk bandana. I call it a bandana, they call it a silk scarf. It's the, the traditional LV monogram and it is very similar to the LV monogram canvas, the uh, yellow gold LV monogram design printed on the brown background. And it's very sheer, you can see behind me, super sheer and it's pretty small. So with every uniform change, there are instructions and guides on how to dress <laughs> using the accessories provided. For women, we were supposed to tie this around our necks. I don't know if I, I think I did a couple times, but honestly, that's just, I don't really do that. It was very French, very chic to tie it around your neck and it's actually really soft. So here's the tag and you can see here it says, LV uniforms in French. It's 100% silk and it's made in Italy, dry clean only. And by the way, that was one of the perks in my LV employee perks video was our dry cleaning was provided for us. We would just leave our uniforms and all of our stuff would be dry cleaned, including these silk scarves. For the men, I think they wore it as a pocket square in their in their jacket and women, we would wear it around our necks. Yeah, so this is really cute. I haven't really found a way to use this recently. I mean, I could probably tie it around the handles of my bag. So maybe I'll, I'll do that. It's so soft. I mean, this is real 100% silk. It's very luxurious. And I know that this is something that customers probably would have wanted to purchase if they could, but this was never available for purchase. This was just part of our uniform. Okay, next up is one of my favorite things. And this is the LV Pushette Florentine PM. And this is something that was made specifically, again, for our uniforms. They did release versions of this for purchase for customers in the PM and the GM size. So the GM was, you know, a little longer, but this was part of our uniform. We would wear this around our waist. Mine still has my name tag in there, you know, just for memories, I left it. And so underneath, I'm not gonna remove my my sticker, but it says made in France, not for sale, because again, this was issued as part of our uniform. This comes with a belt and this is the real Vachetta. I love how the leather has patinaed over the years. It's such a beautiful, dark, deep golden brown color. I don't really like brand new Vachetta. It just is too stark for me. So I like that this has darkened over the years. And so yeah, this is part of our uniform. And I actually got two of these over the years. I gave one to my mom and so she uses it as kind of a daily organizer. She just keeps her cards and receipts in here. These are the belt loops on the back. This was in the 2000s. Unfortunately, my phone doesn't fit in here. It looks like it does, but on the inside you can see because of the gussets on the side, it doesn't fit. When this came out, it was when the really small cell phones were popular, like the Razer phone. So that fit in here perfectly. And I would wear the belt and then wear this around my waist, like a little waist bag. And yeah, it just is it great. It served its purpose. So the bags that the LV Associates use now, I think are the Palace crossbody. The version they had for employees also was not available for purchase. They had a different version available for customers, but it was just so cute. 
So yeah, I was able to keep this. And unfortunately, if you work for LV now, you would have to turn it in. Yeah, I just had so many memories with my push at Florentine. I get so many questions about this, asking if I'll ever sell it. I'm never going to sell this. I just, I love this little thing. Next up. I got this for free. This was a little pouch. And in my video, I explained how, depending on which boutique you worked at, you know, and your managers, some managers would incentivize the employees by having little contests throughout the day or throughout the week or month to meet our sales goals. And in this case, I believe there was a bucket PM or GM that was turned in by a customer as defective. And because those are sent in and either destroyed or sold through our RTV system, which is returned to vendor, she was able to keep the little pushette that comes with it. And so my manager announced a contest at the beginning of one of the work days and said, the first employee to sell $10,000 worth of merchandise will win this pouch. And in my video, I talked about how I'm, how I'm so competitive and I was like, I had my eyes on the prize and I wanted this pouch. <laughs> so I went out on the sales floor and I sold everything. I cross sold and I won. So I was the first employee that day to sell $10,000 of merchandise and I got this pouch for free. So this is it, it's up. And I've used this throughout the years. But yeah, this was an authentic. It's so funny, I read through the comments of that video and a lot of current employees talk about how they never have anything like that. Their, their experience is totally different. They did not receive any sort of gifts or whatever from the company. There were never any contests. And again, you know, it's very site specific and manager specific. And unfortunately it sounds like that just is no longer. So this was a fun little reward and a prize that I won in a selling contest with my colleagues. Okay, next up were gifts from our headquarters. Now this is a mini agenda in a mini monogram pattern. And this is something that was not sold to customers. This was printed especially for employees and also as a VIC gift. This was to celebrate the 150th anniversary of LV. And inside, you can see here, it has an imprint of the man himself and the years 1854 to 2004. And again, this was to celebrate our 150th anniversary of the company. And we did not sell this ever, but every employee at that time received one of these. And I just loved it. This is a mini agenda. So there's a pen loop here for a mini pen. And then we used to sell, I don't know if they still sell it, but there were mini agenda, like calendar refills that you could buy for the years. I never use this as a mini agenda. I always use this as a card case because it has little card slots over here and it just was so cute. This is something that I've always used as a card case and it's so unique because this, I don't really see this anywhere. I don't know if they still make this, but I have kind of whipped this out in LV stores and employees who have been there for a long time recognize this and they're like, oh, you used to work for LV. And I was like, yeah, I did <laughs> many, many years ago. So yeah, this is the very exclusive, very limited edition mini agenda for the 150th anniversary. And this was just a gift that the company gave every employee at the time. So I can go into our uniforms. I actually thought some of the uniforms were super cute. There was, at one point we had a little cardigan set, which I love cardigans, especially with a matching knit top underneath. And I think some of that stuff is still packed away, but I can do another video about uniforms if you're interested. So let me know in the comments. And finally, one of my favorite things about working for LV and, and retail in general were the visual displays. Because the visual displays were such an important part of our marketing, there were specific designers who would come and visit every location to set up the new visuals and the new displays for every collection and every season. And fortunately, sometimes we were able to actually keep those displays because they don't want it to you know, get in the wrong hands. I don't know. Technically, they were supposed to destroy the old installations, but sometimes, occasionally, we were able to keep some of the items and some of the props. And so one of my favorite props of the visual display was this acrylic box. And I just thought this was so cute. I can't even tell you what installation or display this was for or what year, but when they were taking it down, my manager offered to let us keep some of the acrylic boxes because even she was like, oh, these are so cute. They're, they'd be great for organizing or keeping whatever. So I got to keep this and you can see it's been pretty beaten up. It has tape to keep the sides together because they're kind of separating. Yeah, I could probably try to remove this tape, but I would keep this in my closet and I would just keep kind of dust bags and twillies in here. You know, these were on display throughout the store and they were meant to hold, I don't even know, 
I don't remember what collection it was for, but it was just so cute and still so useful. I just think it was so wasteful to destroy all of these things just so that it would, you know, not get in the wrong hands. But fortunately, they let me keep this one and it's just so cute. So I just keep this in my closet and I just throw, I need to organize this some more, but I throw dust bags and, and toolies in here. So all the visuals and all the displays and props, if you're lucky, you got to keep some of them. Okay, so those are my favorite things <laughs> that I have fortunately been able to keep over the years while I work for LV. And I still really treasure them. They just evoke such fun memories of working for LV, working in retail. And I love how some of these items are so exclusive and still useful. So again, I still use my, my 150th anniversary mini agenda as a card case. I don't really use the Pochette Florentine as much just because it's so small, but I could use it as a little SLG or, you know, pouch within a within another tote bag, just like I do this pouch that I won in a contest. Yeah, you know what? I should probably start whipping this out and wearing this again. <laughs> So yeah, these are just my favorite things. And again, you know, unfortunately, from what I hear, there aren't as many free gifts and benefits and swag that employees would receive now, but I was able to keep mine. <laughs> so yeah, let me know what are your favorite things that you've gotten from your job over the years, especially if you work in retail. I think that when you work in retail, that really should be one of the biggest perks is that you are gifted some fun things as an employee because you're representing the brand. So having these items would just, I think, help deepen your appreciation for your employer. So yeah, let me know what were your favorite things from your job or do you get nothing from your job but stress? So I hope you enjoyed my sharing with you my favorite things that I got from LV for free. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to catch you in my next video. Bye.